welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. It is Friday. I've got a job to film and edit today. Um, I, I think I finished filming. I'm just importing the footage. I'm going to quick, like, rough edit and see if I have any more shots that I need to... Maurice, he's eating my tripod. Any more shots that I need to film, but yeah, a nice Friday. Maurice, why are you obsessed with eating wood? Today at lunchtime, we are going to go to the food, to the food, food shop. We're going to do the food shop. We're going to the food shop. Because I am hosting, this weekend I'm hosting one of my best friends and her fiancés and her baby. And I've got a little bit of a menu planned. So this is actually the people that first introduced me to a tiramisu. That, that was the first tiramisu I ever had was when they hosted us for dinner back in October. So I'm going to reciprocate the favour and make a tiramisu. So I just need to make sure I know what ingredients i'm getting and then for the main course she's a pescatarian so we're thinking of doing a fish dish and then on the side some of my turmeric butter beans and then some like hasselback potatoes are you still feeling like that's a good idea babe we need the right potatoes though yeah well, not any old shit can you make that can that be your job to research what potatoes we need because I would just get baby potatoes for Hasselbacks. That makes me feel like Phoebe in Friends where she gets put in charge of cups and ice. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of which potatoes? Potatoes. You're yeah. in charge of potatoes. Okay. I feel, feel like also maybe we need some greens. So maybe I'll do some crispy kale or something on the side. I really, really wanted to make them this recipe that we've had a couple of times now from the Bruto cookbook. Bruto is an amazing Italian restaurant in uh, Farringdon, and it's this one. I think I vlogged this a couple of weeks ago. Chicken with grapes, olive, and sage. I was thinking we could just substitute the chicken for fish, but I'm not entirely sure, basically, so I've been looking for different recipes. Um, oh, there was a nice one in here. I'm just really loving cooking with grapes. Like, I just, yeah, it makes me really happy. And I found a fish and grape recipe in here so i could do like a, a steamed fish this is jamie oliver's mediterranean five ingredients cookbook here we go bream and roasted grapes with creamy mustard sauce and wilted baby spinach i just think that looks so sophisticated and fancy for like a dinner an adult dinner so yeah maybe i'll do that but without fish skin i'll just get some fillets so i need to quickly write up um a shopping list so that i know what i'm getting when we go to the shops and i need to start editing this footage and i need to drink my cup of tea update i think i've changed my mind on what we're cooking our friends on sunday i just i was just thinking why don't i cook them a paneer curry because it's one of my staples and i don't think i've made it for them before alongside a takadal these are like using authentic bangladesh recipes that our friend taught us in lockdown on zoom and it's just really delicious and it means that i can pr like pre-prepare it that morning so i'm not slaving away over the cooker when they get here so yeah i think that's a much better idea but i'm still gonna be making a tiramisu absolutely even though that doesn't really go with curry mint oh mini <laughs> i love all the different hot cross bun flavors they have at easter but they don't have cheesy ones in Tesco, but they do have these pink ones. They look kind of fun. Someone, can someone tell me what tomato? Um, great taste. Oh, we've got to get that then. Oh, we're going off piece. We start with this some fish paste. Spam. My dad would love that. Here we are, guys. We're having a tin fish date night. We're, we're standing in front of the tin fish. Okay, so I know you're not gonna like the sound of this, but apparently these smoked oysters are really, they get great reviews. But it sounds a bit rank, doesn't it? Get them if you want, babe, but I don't like, I'm not a fan. Why do I want to try that? What else can we get? I feel like we should get, um... Mackerel. Crab meat. Mackerel. <laughs> We are home from the food shop. I thought I'd give you a food shop haul, being as we never get to do this anymore. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm living my best life. <laughs> Friday evening, got home from the food shop and my husband's poured me a glass of red. Oh, I'm gonna let that aerate for a bit whilst I unpack all my stuff. Yeah, I never really do food shop hauls anymore because we do the meal kit services, but I thought I'd show you today. Got some treats got some stuff for the weekend so on the menu tonight we're having a takeaway 
tomorrow we're having a tin fish date night one of you guys told me about tin fish date night after i was talking about my love of mac like tinned macaron toast on instagram and i looked it up and it's this woman on tiktok who does this date night with her husband on a friday night and it basically started when um they had their baby and they didn't have much time to cook anymore but they still wanted like some quality time in the evening so they just started opening like tins of fish and a glass and a bottle of wine on a friday like making little tin fish date boards sorry my eyes twitching like with cheese and nuts and grapes and crackers and then just like trying loads of new tin fish so we're gonna do that tomorrow night i'm very excited about it probably vlog it for tiktok mini egg these are my favorite cakes uh, i am i have given up chocolate for lent i'm this is Coming up to the end of week two, I think. So I've got these for Sunday. We've got some sesame crackers and thins for the cheese board. I've got some mascarpone for my tiramisu that I'm making on Sunday. She's got some buttons. Oh, grey tea, some fruits. I'm doing my pinne curry. I've got three blocks of pinne. I think that might be too much, but we'll see. Hummus and guac for the cheese board. Soft cheese, carrots, eggs. Oh, I got some spices because I've run out. I need to like refill my spices because they're all, yeah, get to the end of them now. G's got some kefir. I can't drink this, it breaks me out in really bad acne. And I don't really like the taste of the like dairy free ones. Whoa, these onions are huge. Tomatoes. Nan bread for the curry. And we've got some brie. So the two fishes we've got. I mean, I hate oysters, I hate oysters, but I thought these might be okay to try. John West smoked oysters in sunflower oil. These get really good reviews on the Tesco website and they are like a smoky flavor. I'm looking forward to trying these on some crackers. We'll see what that's like. And then we've got some different types of sardines. We've got sardines in chili, lime and coriander and sardines in tomato, olive and caper sauce. We'll probably only open one of those. And then I've got some smoked mackerel fillets as well, which I'm really looking forward to. And then yeah, just some treats from Mogways. Mogways, treats. Ooh. Do you like that? I got him some seaside treats from Felix Purina. I think you like them, you good boy. This can only mean one thing, it is tiramisu time. day prepping um i don't i don't know why I've, i make such an effort sometimes in terms of like why i put like make so much work for myself but i do enjoy it so it's all good um so yeah i've cooked i baked my well I haven't baked but i've made my tiramisu and then we made a chili paneer curry and a taco dal and then we're going to serve it up with naan bread and pop doms and we've got some like little snacky bits I'm just trying to find a lipstick. That would do. This is Clinique's Chubby Stick Intense in the shade, oh, in the shade, I don't know. Oh, Curviest Caramel. Oh, 
lovely job there. Such a nice nude, nude shade. Let me show you what everything's looking like. So I'm just gonna like reheat everything when they get here. But I wanted to do it early this morning so that everything had time to like marinate and get even more delicious. Taco doll, got my paneer. Oh my God, it looks so good. We're gonna make some rice. We've, we've, we've put some cinnamon, cloves and garlic in the rice. We'll see what that's like. And then we've also got some of these like little crostini breads hummus and then the the piece de resistance the tiramisu oh my god i am so excited for that put quite a lot of booze in i do like a boozy tiramisu so i hope hope they like that too i've just been like chilling for a minute and trying to do some knitting i started making my cardigan and i've had to like restart this three times but I'm like getting to the point now where I'm just like, I just want to freaking do it. So stop being such a perfectionist and just like keep going, even if I do make a little mistake. But yeah, it's I'm so sad about it because yesterday it was looking so good. It was looking like a proper kind of cardi. And now it's just like this again. But this one's kind of interesting because I'm doing it from the top down. Whereas with my other jumper, I was doing it from the bottom up. And so it means like, as I make this, I can like try it on, which is quite exciting, I'll show you. So this is like the neckline. And at the moment, I'm just building up the stitches, like increasing it to like come out and then we can work on the sleeves. But yeah, so far, so good. Hey team, hey team, how are we doing? What is the day today? Today is Tuesday. I am working from home, editing today. I'm feeling, ugh, basically I've got like 10 days till my period and I'm feeling rubbish again. I cannot stand being a woman sometimes. 10 days until my next period. Wait, am I in my luteal phase? I'm gonna do some research about what that means for me. Oh my God, also my neck is so itchy. It's not because of this jumper. I'm just like breaking out in eczema all the way up to my face and it's also like on my collarbones as well that you can see it there. It's just constantly itching. I need, I've like run out of all my eczema cream as well so I need to go and buy some lotion <laughs> to help me because this is just, it's like on fire. Um, I just wanted to show you something so random and funny. Basically, I'm like, Whenever I have an avocado, I cannot, I literally cannot eat an avocado without them planting the stone in some water to grow an avocado tree. Let me show you um, my like most successful avo tree to date. She's doing so well, like she's got proper established leaves. Saying that, this one looks a tiny bit burnt, maybe from the sun, um, but yeah. Apart from that, she's looking quite healthy. She's like planted and she's got a new leaf growing there. So that's great. Anyway, I planted another two since that one. Well, I planted a lot more than that, but they've all failed. But I planted, I planted one and then just forgot about it. And then G and I found it the other day and we were just like, what has happened? How have we not noticed this? So this is her, she's like resting in some water. She's got a lot of roots, the roots looking fantastic. But then look at this. Oh my God, she's still going. She's still going. She's still going. Way, <laughs> look at that. These leaves are looking so fantastic and healthy. And literally we just forgot about this, but it's so big. That is just stupid. It's so weird as well, because normally they start growing leaves when they get to like here, but this one like just shot up and th this is so thick, this stem, like proper healthy. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get the roots out and plant it without damaging them. So I might just leave her in this. She seems like she's just doing really well and I'm just so happy with how she's looking. I've also got another one here which isn't doing as well, but like the roots aren't as nice, but she 
She's not looking awful. She's just not, you can tell she's just not as healthy as that one, which is so thick. Yeah, she's only got a couple of tiny leaves at the top. And she, yeah, she's just not, she's not doing very well. Look at the bend on that compared to this. Very, very funny. Maybe I should put this in the light a bit more. I might put her over here just to get a tiny bit more, tiny bit more light. Okay, I've changed my jumper because I have got circus tonight and I wanted to wear, like I like to wear what I'm gonna wear to circus um, so that I don't have to change later and that's so I can't convince myself not to go. I actually haven't been to a class in about a month just cause of um, half term and then last week we were at the theatre. So I'm just, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I haven't been loving my circus classes recently. I've been doing it for so long, like eight, nine years. And I don't wanna say I'm falling out of love with it cause I always love it when I go. I can never be bothered to go. Like I enjoy it when I'm there. I guess that's true with all exercise, isn't it? But I've just, yeah, I've been really struggling with my circus classes lately. Um, and also not feeling very strong. And that's been putting me off, making me feel rubbish about myself as well. But I just need to get over. I need to get over it. Um, I'm going to make some lunch. Yesterday, we bunged together loads of different stuff in our cupboards to make a really nice little salad. And I've got some left over. So this is literally grated carrot, like ri carrot ribbons, a tin of sweet corn, a tin of five beans. And then I've added some coriander. Um, a tiny bit of salt, a tiny bit of olive oil and a tiny bit of um, like red wine vinegar and it's so good. So I'm just going to have this with some crackers. I've got these really nice um, crackers from our tin fish date night and I might also put some tin... Fucking hell. Postman. I might also put some tin fish on there. I'm yeah, just very much loving my tin fish at the moment. One of my favourites is this one which I've only got, I've only got two left of now. I'm gonna need to stock up. This is, they're called Garfield Bitters. I've definitely spoken about these online before, but herrings, but in different sauces. So the sherry sauce one is my favorite, but I've got a dill sauce one here that G doesn't like. So I'm gonna have this now. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited because I freaking love these little guys. Um, I've also got some dal left over in the fridge, which I do want to eat, but maybe, mm, I wonder how long that would last. No, I'm going to have this. Am I? Oof, this is a hard decision. It feels a bit of a waste not to eat that dal, so I actually, after talking to you for ages about this, I might actually eat that dal. I wonder if this would keep for another day. I'm sure it would. Let's put that back in the fridge and I'll just have some doll lunch. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I did it it was great in the end um and also when I got home G had cooked dinner and oh my god it was so delicious let me show you what it was what's he done with it what has he done with it I hope he didn't chuck it I can't show you it because I don't know where it's gone I'll show you next week it was like a lentil and um uh, like croutons and halloumi salad it was so good where has it gone I'm going to sign off now, guys, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you next week. Bye!